Now, how to prepare a bank reconciliation statement using adjusted cash book balance? Now, what do you understand by adjusted cash book balance? Now, students, you must have noticed that out of various examples that we have done and various causes that we have understood that can cause difference in the cash book and the pass book balance, quite a few of them are uh, the causes which can be rectified in the cash book. Let's take an example. If we say interest charged by bank charged by bank not recorded in cash book now this cause obviously leads to mismatch in the balance as shown by the cash book and the pass book but this is not a cause which cannot be rectified I mean it clearly shows that it should have been recorded in the cash book who is responsible for maintaining the cash book it is the owner or the cashier appointed by the owner so what he can do is he can immediately ask the cashier to record it just record it once you have recorded it the cause of difference is no longer there similarly it can be insurance premium paid by bank paid by bank rupees 15,000 again bank has paid 15,000 but you have not recorded in the cash book that is why it is leading to a mismatch in the balances so just record it now once you know that you have not recorded it you should record it what is the advantage of doing or following this method once you have recorded all the entries that should be recorded in the cash book it gives us twofold advantages first is advantages of adjusting cash book balance there are two fold advantages first is it helps us to show correct balance of bank in the balance sheet helps to show or to depict correct balance of bank in the balance sheet since it actually removes the errors or the omissions on the part of the business so it helps in presenting a fairer picture of the business and the second fold advantage is that less adjustments need to be made to be made or done for bank reconciliation statement since you have already rectified many of the errors it means that the number of causes that still remain would be very small and it leads to easier workings during the preparation of bank reconciliation statement now most of the errors can be rectified but still broadly speaking three types of causes will remain what are those three causes three causes would still remain and they need to be taken care during the bank reconciliation statement they are checks deposited but not credited second being checks issued but not yet presented and the third one being errors in the passbook
Now, students, these three errors or these three causes of difference would still remain there. I will start from the third one first, errors in the passbook. Now, errors in the passbook have been caused by bank. Since the passbook is maintained by the bank, these errors can be rectified only by the bank. What you can do at the most is bring them to the notice of the bankers. Whereas these two causes, they are the causes of timing. And as and when the time passes, they are usually rectified. But if they are not, then you have to take care of them in the bank reconciliation statement. So now, what is the process using the adjusted cash book? The process of preparing BRS using the adjusted cash book is that first of all, we are given cash book balance, cash book balance. And then we prepare, we prepare an adjusted cash book. Now adjusted cash book will take care of all the omissions and errors on the part of the business. That will give us an adjusted cash book balance. Adjusted cash book balance. And using this adjusted cash book balance and remaining causes, use remaining causes to draft new bank reconciliation statement. Remember, the method of preparing the bank reconciliation statement remains same as we had discussed earlier. Only thing that has to be added here is that you will prepare your cash book once again and you will have to show or you will take care of all the omissions and the errors that were made earlier. Once that has been made, you will find the adjusted cash book balance. So now you have new cash book balance and using this balance, prepare the bank reconciliation statement as we had done earlier. 